Hello, my name is Pablo and I'm going to be talking to you about cell phone use in children. Did you know that an average smartphone user checks their phone 47 times a day, which makes 17,150 17, times a year? Impressive numbers, right? Especially, if we look back 30 years ago, no one was checking their phones that often. But let's not talk about numbers. Now, I want you to imagine how that has changed that nowadays, one in three school children owns a phone. And in COVID times, this number has probably increased now that we use our camera and voice recorded phones for both learning and entertainment purposes. But we also have the reality in which our kids will be increasing the number of times that they look at their device per day. As a smartphone user, I can definitely attest to this. I am very addicted and I'm not gonna lie. I use my phone to mostly play games, watch videos, and text my friends. I am the best example and proof that a simple device like a phone can be very addictive and distractive in my life in many ways. I just put my phone away to make this presentation and I think I already have a message. But see what I mean? The reason I am here today is because I want to create awareness in you about the damage that can be done to children by introducing a cell phone too young in their lives and make them believe of an appropriate age to provide them with an to provide them with a cell phone and how long they should be exposed to this. You may not have a child right now, but you're surely and the odds are high that you're going to have one in the future and phones are still going to be around. One question that hunts me down is if phones are so addicting, why do parents still let their kids play with phones at a young age as a distraction? Well, although TV is still the main attraction for children, nowadays they see themselves clunking over about four days in, on average per day. According to a recent study on American, American Academy of Pediatrics, almost a third of that time is spent on a computer, tablet, and of course a cell phone. This leads to negative effects of smartphone, starting the use of very extensive and prolonged times. It is important to recognize that smartphones do great things for us, but it's also important to accept the drawbacks that smartphones, a smartphone use costs on children. It has been said that smartphone harms attention spans, increases aggression, stagnates physical activity, hurts school performance, limits interpersonal interactions, and affects emotional development when given to children too young in their lives. It is important to recognize that phones are a problem, but more important that we need to play it smart and know the appropriate age to give a cell phone to a child. According to the latest research, on average, a child gets her first small a smartphone at 10.3 years old. In a recent interview with The Mirror, Bill Gates said that he didn't let any of his children get their own phone until they were 14. So coming from a software development genius, I think we better listen. PBS Parents has curated a small list of questions to parents that they can ask themselves before giving a child a cell phone. Some of these questions are, does your children need to be in touch for safety reasons or social ones? Can they get behind the concept of limits for times called and apps downloaded? Can they be trusted to text, photo, and video functions responsibly on their phone? But if you do decide to give a phone a chap, the, the child a phone, how much time should they spend on it? It is said that parents should keep meal times, dry times, and bedtimes tech free, allowing families to chat about their day and sit quietly. As children use smartphones, a screen time limit will help reduce the likelihood of developing an unhealthy develop dependency on the phones. There was a study conducted in 2011 that investigated the relationship between the cell phone use and brain tumors. This was done by contacting individuals with specific brain tumors and conducted a series of questions to determine if there was any correlation between the two. Even though radiation coming from the phones is very, was very high, there was no proof of such correlation between the two. Even by not being related to tumors, cell phone use, especially in children, is still a problem. And as adults, we have the tools and power to change and engrave better habits in children. We learn about the risk of handing out a cell phone to children at a very young age. We describe the good age range in which it is believed to be appropriate to hand down a cell phone. 
and the way that we can avoid making children dependent on their cellular devices. So next time you give your phone to a younger sibling, your child, or your nephew, I want you to ask one question, and just one question. Was he or she born to text?